Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley Bidet, and today we're going to be doing a beautiful lace wig install. The really cool thing about this one is it came with the cut for the bangs and then also came with this beautiful highlight color. It also came with a nice wavy texture which you'll see straight out of the box. But I do want to go ahead and amp it up and give it like a nighttime vibe like I'm about to go out. So I did go ahead and want curl it just for a little bit of a different vibe. But you'll see that you can wear it in its natural state. The natural way to it is absolutely beautiful. You can just add a little bit of serum and you'll be good to go. Also, it does come with lace parting. So this isn't just like a bang wig with like a closure. This is actually like a lace. So you'll be able to, you know, different do it, part it and do different things. It did come longer. So you could have like sweeped into the side and did fridge bangs. You guys see for me, I liked a little bit of a blunt vein. I did like kind of fan it out a little bit. Nonetheless, she is perfect for me i like my bangs super long let me know do you like yours long or like short closer to the eyebrow anyways let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial if you haven't already subscribe to my channel and become part of the tribe also follow me on my other socials i have them down in the description box now let's jump into the video okay ladies let's jump right into it this is the packaging and then this is the wig this is going to be a straight out of the box tutorial this is what she looks like literally straight out of the box and this is a look at the inside construction of the cap we're going to go ahead and throw her on i do want to mention this is a highlight body wave wig with bangs it's 24 inches in length and as you guys can see i'm just trying her on for size and just getting to know her and seeing you know what she looks like and what she feels like this is what the curls look like straight out of the box as you guys can see when you brush them they become a lot more sexy and smooth so just be mindful of that curl straight out of the box typically just need a little bit of like a brushing and a little tlc again just making sure you can see everything in detail so one cool thing about this one is that the actual bang is part of a 13 by 4 lace wig so it's not literally just bang and like cap or like that little closure it's literally lace so you can in a way like part it however you want I like for the bang to come forward and then to kind of like have it slightly parted so you can see that lace because once you add a little bit of a lace tint that's just going to give it the most natural look let's go ahead and focus on the hairline and bonding the wig down this is an optional step because we chose a 13 by 4 lace wig and it actually is going to fit my head pretty glueless we don't have to bond it down at all i don't know for me i just feel like adding a little bit of an adhesive really quickly just makes my wigs feel and fit secure even if you know the lace or the hairline is not showing so i'm just cutting off the excess lace and from here we're going to go ahead and use a little bit of that red even spray this one is active i just used a little bit in the center again just to hold it in place so that i can move it around flip it and flop it and do whatever i choose to do and especially in this rain and throwing on my hat throwing on my hood and all that I just don't want my hair to get shuffled because it's definitely been rainy here in LA I also did go ahead and just tint the lace with a little bit of my foundation powder along the hairline again this step and then bonding it down are completely optional and unnecessary but just options to show you how to really really perfect your wig and make it look perfect here I am just going in and seeing what the bang looks like. I was pretty certain for the beginning that I was going to have to like cut it down and, you know, customize it. But it's good to just see and put the placement correctly before you do so. Now here's what I was talking about bonding the wig down. I just took a little bit of the even along the center and just placed the wig exactly how I wanted it. And once I got it how I wanted it, I'm just going to bond it down and um, blow dry on a cool setting. I love the color combo on this one. It is a honey blonde highlight situation. I love how the ombre just really, really flows and it just really looks good on me. Here I am blowing here I am blow drying the hair. Now, whenever you're doing like straight out the box, so you're not like washing the hair, I do feel like giving it a good blow dry kind of like pulls the curls out and really makes the hair nice and fluffy so if you go in and like recurl it it just makes for better curls i don't know if that makes sense but trust me if ever you're going to curl your hair like straight out of the box and there's already a texture to it blow dry it first and it's just going to make a huge difference now let's go in and customize the bangs the bangs are one size fits most so they are a little bit long for me but for someone with a longer face or a different facial structure they're going to already be the perfect length 
So I'm just going in and I'm taking my time. It's been a minute since I cut bangs and I just didn't want to mess up. So I'm kind of just trimming them a little bit shorter and just seeing if I like it. I'm also going in and kind of like teasing the end so that like it doesn't look too blunt. I wanted them to be a little bit more on the shaggy side and just like imperfect. And I kind of like them here, but again, you just want to make sure they don't cover the eyes too much. Also, I do want to mention that there are options with this one. When you click the link to this wig in the description box, you'll find that you'll be able to purchase this one in lengths either 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, or 26. You can also get this one in different um, lace or cap constructions rather. And mine is a 13 by 4, but you can also get it in a 4 by 4 closure or you can get a full cap. And I would say this wig is pretty affordable, so definitely check it out in the description box now that i have the bangs how i want them and you can definitely vouch they look really 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 good they are kind of bumped tight but typically whenever i do my bangs i kind of bump them tight because trust me that bump is gonna fall pretty quickly I did go in with the dynamic duo. I just can't stay away from that. I just went ahead and added a little bit of the wax around the um, lace and then just really went in with the hot comb and made sure that the parting and then like the, just the whole top was flat. I don't want it to give too much of a wiggy vibe. So I wanted to make sure it was flat as possible. Now I'm just straightening out the ends. Again, I wanted to curl this one myself. So I didn't want it to be like curly from the box curls up top and then like my curls at the bottom. So I just feel like it would look a lot more neat if I straightened it out first. Now let's go in and curl the hair. I've been stuck on this wand curler here, but I definitely have my own wand curler coming soon from BDACBD.com. This one here definitely gets the job done and it's pretty affordable. I'll have it linked in the description box. And I'm just taking nice generous sized pieces and just really going in and making sure that the hair is straight and smooth before going in and curling away from the face. You can definitely use a heat protectant. I am going to add a little bit of a, um, not a serum, what am I going to add? A holding spray. I'm going to add my shapers at the very end. This is a very simple step. I feel like if you are a beginner to curls, I highly recommend investing in a good wand curler. Even the most affordable ones definitely will um, get the job done and help you to make your curls look really, really, really good. I also want to mention that I do have a coupon code in the description box. It's Ashley15 and you'll enter it at checkout and you'll get 15% off. Also check out um, Jesse Wig on Instagram. I'll have a link um, and all their Instagram information down below as well. Just plugging them. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already. I'm Ashley B Deck there too. Okay, ladies, now we're done with the first half. I did go ahead and spray it generously with my shapers. That's going to help the curls to set. And just always primping, just making sure that the bangs look perfect. I kind of curtained them out a little bit so they're not so blunt across. On the sides, they are a little bit longer. And then I did the opposite side off camera. Kind of changed my top and I'm loving, loving, loving the way this one came out. You can add a little bit of an oil sheen to the bangs to make them look a little bit more smooth. I didn't want to do this because oil from your hair is naturally going to make your bangs get oily really quickly. So I'm pleased with the results in here. I'm just pulling out the curls and making sure I like everything. Touching anything up as needed and also adding some um, foundation powder to the parting. Here is what they look like from the back. So much better than straight out of the box. Definitely a 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. Okay, ladies, we are done with the look and I'm pleased at my efforts. Let me also remind you guys or make you aware that it is 4 26 in the morning and I have to have my kids at swim at 10 30. Gonna regret being up so late, but I don't know, since my kids went on to Christmas break and I didn't have to get up in carpool, I took advantage and did a lot of night work and now I'm stuck in that sleep insomnia phase where it's hard to correct my sleeping patterns. So I, that is why I'm up and that's why you guys are getting a video today. So this one did, uh oh, come courtesy of Jesse's wig and this is the box and packaging here. So. It is 24 inches in length. This was the bag the wig was in. And then it gave some really nice, um, what are these, wig caps. And this one is super stretchable premium fabric. This is actually their brand. Jesse's wig, super nice. Also got the melt belt. Says Jesse's wig and then a pair of 3D Meek lashes. Super nice. So I'm going to be using those with a little bit of my, um, what is that? Better than sex mascara. So I can give it kind of like a little clump vibe and they'll be good to go. But the hair itself is a super easy install. I think that because I'm just up wide awake with energy, I definitely did, um, 
do more than necessary and by that I mean I wanted to customize it so that it looks good on me and it's like my style but I also wanted to but I also want to make you aware that this one is very very easy glueless no maintenance low maintenance install you don't have to go in and bond it down like I did you don't have to add the powder in the very front like I did I added the powder in the front just because if I wanted to like push it all to the sides like this I wanted to make sure that the lace um is skin tone or flesh tone to some extent and not um white so that way it would just you know be a seamless situation I'm going to take this cream product from Ruby Kisses and I do get it online and I'm just going to try and dab it as much as I can into the lace. Now one good idea is to, before you even put it on, tint the lace from underneath so that this will naturally um, be, what do you call it, brown no matter where the lace is parted. If the lace moves, the wind blows, you want it to match up. So that is one tip when it comes to wearing like bangs and stuff. And I don't want to cake this product in here. Again, when I take it off before I put it on again, I definitely will go in and um, just make sure that the lace underneath is tinted so that I can just move it around and kind of let it fly and fall where it may and it looks like skin. So I'm gonna let you guys go. Be sure to check out Jessie's wig. I have a direct link to this wig as well as all the details in the description box. Also, you'll find lists and links of everything we used to complete this look. Hopefully I'll be up in a few hours to take my kids to swim because they did miss last week because I was doing the same thing again. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the new year. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.